The Gillard government is considering a royal commission into a culture of abuse in the Defence Force. Horrific new details have emerged that date back decades. But as Matt Moran reports, victims just want action. Decades of abuse were revealed in the aftermath of the Skype sex scandal. We've got about 700, over 700 plausible allegations of abuse over uh, a five decade period. The earliest example dates back to 1951 involving a 13 year old boy. There's physical, there's mental abuse, there's torments, guns held to people's head, guns put in people's mouths. Disturbingly, the review finds some of the accused may now hold senior positions in defence. They should be pursued and, if necessary, punished and dismissed. I would have thought that wholesale resignations might be a good way to go here. Behaviour in the 60s and 70s at HMAS Lewin in WA was singled out. A correlation between the abused becoming abusers. There are some uh, deeply distressing matters dealt with by that report. Former Chief of Army Peter Lay doesn't think the Minister has been involved in a cover-up, but says it seems others have. Also, there may be cases where the chain of command and probably thought, oh, this is just too difficult. Uh, they're the ones that should also be ashamed of what they've done. I haven't discounted a Royal Commission, but it seems half-baked, ad hoc and a bit of a knee-jerk. We should have got them to come forward with a view to compensating them, apologising to them. Kate, the cadet at the centre of the Skype scandal here at ADFA, is now trying to get on with her life in defence. She told me she's happy her story gave strength to others to come forward with their own allegations. People want justice. For some of them, it's been over 60 years. Time will tell. Matt Moran, 10 News.